Hello guys, it's Ola here with my manly voice. Uh, I got a lot of requests of doing a, a home studio uh, walkthrough, showing off all my stuff and all that shit. So, um, sure, why not? And um, uh, I'll start off with the guitars, I guess. Um, this is the uh, Strictly 7 Solar prototype right here. Uh, it has uh, Duncan Distortions in it, it's with Floyd Rose. And um, it's actually the prototype for uh, this guitar, the actual first production solar um, that I received at NAMM this year. And uh, if you want to check them out or even get one, go check out strip7guitars.com or was it s7guitars.com? I don't really remember. Uh, I also have a Ibanez MTM2 that I use mainly for just uh, pickup tests. Uh, whenever I get pickups from uh, from Simrock and stuff like that, uh, it has a, a time bucket in there right now. Uh, really awful guitar, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, also have a Clive. Um, Jazz bass copy bass. Uh, it has uh, active and uh, a passive pickup, so I can switch between you know, the, making the perfect studio bass, really. And a lot of a lot of tone knobs and the uh, EQ stuff, and well, that really fits for having in a studio. Uh, oh, as you can see as well, I'm having these uh, RLX uh, absorbers all around uh, to dampen <coughs> reflections and all that. Uh, have some bass traps there as, as well. Um, and mainly to dampen the reflections of the room when recording or whatever. And probably what you guys are seeing here, if you're a studio nerd, uh, you're supposed to have diffusers or deflectors on the opposite side of the monitors um, well I just wanted to tap into reflections really so I don't really care about nerdy stuff like that uh, oh looks pretty cool as well uh, this is the Solar 8 uh, string uh, that I got a couple of weeks ago with a regular headstock not the reverse one uh, with a hip shot bridge and uh, it actually has um, uh, Lundgren M8 uh, pickup in there as of now. Um, waiting for uh, uh, custom 8 string Seymour Duncan distortions. Uh, they'll arrive pretty soon, I guess. Uh, and this is the, the Satan. <laughs> yeah, it's my custom made uh, Langland um, amp, the me and Mike Fortin designed. Uh, it's basically a, a Fortinatus, but with uh, Ornatus, but with some extra stuff like the uh, it has a sweep knob uh, that actually uh, switches the all the tone stacks. So it's really good when you want to match up with a with a cab, the cab that's honky or whatever. You can use this one and, uh, to uh, make it fit that cab. Uh, it also has some switches and all that stuff, uh, extras. Uh, you probably have heard it already since I've made like a shit ton of videos with it. Um, and with it, I'm using a DV Mark 4x12. Uh, it's a lightweight 4x12 um, with their own uh, lightweight uh, speakers in it. This actually sounds really good. And the cab is around 20 kilos, so it's really easy to carry around. Um, and uh, underneath there, there's a 2x12 from Hesu. Uh, it has uh, Celestian uh, T75 speakers. And this is solid wood, so this actually weighs 30 kilos. and weighs more than the 4x12, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and I'm using these uh, Grama. 
from Aurelix. Uh, they're uh, like pedestals for cabinets. Um, removes uh, vibrations uh, that to go through the floor. So uh, it's pretty good. Cool if you have it home if you don't want any uh, disturbance with the force to the neighbors or something. Um, there's the DV Mark Triple uh, X Triple Six. It's uh, like a really hot dual rectifier. It's a really cool amp, and it's uh, actually also lightweight, so it doesn't weigh that much as well. Uh, and here's the AMT Stonehead uh, that I'm currently trying. It's a, a 50 watt solid state amp. Uh, sounds really good, and it's really loud. And uh, yeah, I also have a, a Randall ISO cabinet loaded with uh, Celestian Vintage uh, speakers. A speaker! And uh, I actually have a couple more cabs in the studio. Uh, a Carbon Legacy with uh, Vintage 30 speakers and a, a small 2x12 with uh, D30 speakers as well. And uh, oh yeah, here's the, my uh, trustworthy old Maxon hanging in there for whenever I need him. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's the humidifier that I use. Um, well, it gets dry here in Sweden, so it's for the guitars really. Uh, so they don't crack, uh, the wood crack. Um, yeah. A couple stands and uh, that's a uh, SM7B microphone. Perfect for vocals. Um, shit like that. And here's the Kemper. I really like. A uh, really cool product. Uh, probably have seen the videos already. And yeah, this is a this is a really I don't know who of you one of my fans or uh, one of my friends sent me this one. I'm not sure who you are. Uh, I haven't really tried it yet, but I'd probably make a demo of it uh, just for the fun of it. Um, and to whoever you are that sent me this one, thank you. I have no idea what to use it for, but cool. It's a cool gesture. Uh, and on to the desk. I'm just gonna move this chair. Uh, I got a trash can under there. It's good. And a MacBook. Um, and some important papers. Uh, I'm using a iMac uh, 27 inch. Uh, with i7 processors um, goes uh, for audio. I use the PreSonus AudioBox 1818 DSL. Real good interface uh, with uh, low latency inputs, and uh, yeah, it's it's they're really good. Uh, I'm trying. I'm using Logic by the way, but I'm trying to learn uh, Studio One from PreSonus. Um, those are the guys uh, from the guys that actually designed Cubase to begin with. Uh, yeah, and uh, I use uh, General X 8030s uh, uh, monitors. Sounds really good and neutral, and uh, works great for me. Um, also, I have a show you my well, I have my headphones. Here. Yeah, uh, I use these uh, Bose headphones. They are they are noise canceling headphones. Um, so they're really good if you want to pinpoint a perfect uh, microphone placement for a cat. So, um, I actually use plugs and these. And then uh, I um, use them for uh, uh, for finding the perfect spot when uh, placing the microphone to the cat. So, they're really good for um, for that. And they're not really made for uh, mixing, but I kind of like them though. So, I'm, I use them for uh, when, when I'm mixing. Also good for airplanes. They cancel out all the... Uh, background noises and all that shit that you don't really need to hear. And uh, I have a subwoofer that I never use. Um, cables. Hesu cables, of course. Um, oh yeah, here are the lenses I use. Um, let me show you the camera I'm using most of the time. This is the uh, a Nikon D7000 camera that I use really good and um, yeah but what mostly makes all the cool looking effects on the videos are the lenses um, 
this uh, the ones of normal use are this one is a 35 millimeter and this one is a uh, those are fixed so this is fixed 35 millimeters and this is 50 millimeters here's a uh, 18 to 105 millimeter uh, kind of standard stock lens to get with the camera and then there's a wide angle 10 uh, 12 to 24 millimeter that I use to um, if I want to have uh, if I want to cover lots in the video in one uh, shot and uh, I'm currently using a Tamron 28 to uh, to 75 millimeter right now with the camera um, yeah and uh, yeah that's a broken lamp there and uh, I also bought these a couple of weeks ago uh, they're just lamps um, designed to give a more cold um, cold lightness to it so it makes the videos look better let's see if I if I can go inside to my closet here and get some cool stuff <coughs> some shit some boxes and shit uh, but I really have, I have some really cool pedals here. Just gonna show you. Wow. There's a box of pedals. Uh, a real cool uh, pedal from Greenhouse Effects. It's a delay pedal. It actually has uh, a phaser to the delays. So it's a kind of uh, cool space to sound the pedal. I've got some AMT stuff. Uh, wall and uh, not one of my favorite pedals, uh, Ibanez Pan Delay. Um, pretty rare nowadays, but it's real cool. One of my favorites, Decimator. Also, have a hot plate. It was a long time ago I used that one. I think it was for the uh, triple rectifier video or something like that. Uh, some noise suppressors. Uh, I have another one here. Uh, just gonna focus up. There we go. Nice. Uh, Nico Arzewa. Well, you can see it. Probably a lot of stuff really um, that I uh, use. Yeah. Let's see, do you have anything more? Yeah, this is the maintenance box and um, keep all my shit, man. all the strings and all that stuff. Oh, this is, the, this is the goggles I received from Jeff Loomis when I was in LA. Uh, so. Thank you for those. I never wear them, but they're cool though. Maybe for a video. Uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, a carpet and a chair. And uh, another chair. Uh huh. Yeah, okay, let's go outside the door. Let's see if there's something here. Oh! Hey, everyone! That's my assistant, and when he's not helping me, he's watching these uh, freaky cartoons. Um, so it's kind of this, I'm gonna leave him alone. And that's it, I guess. Um, so I'll, uh, I hope you enjoy the tour. Um, and um, yeah, goodbye.